Hey, what's up guys? Dopesar930 here, and in this video tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to put XCX Menu 1.2 on your RGH or JTAGs. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need a USB flash drive, and go ahead and plug that into your Xbox 360 RGH or JTAG console. Turn on the console. And on the console, you're going to head over to your Settings tab. Click System. Storage. Under storage, locate where it says USB storage device and go ahead and click that. Click configure now. And just accept that. It's going to go ahead and format the flash drive to be able to uh, work with the Xbox 360 console. And if that pops up the performance warning, don't worry about that. That's fine. It'll still work um, without any problems. All right, now once you've done that, you're going to need to go to your computer and download XCX Menu 1.2 and Horizon. Uh, put a link in the description. I can't promise you guys the links will stay active because links change. It's hard to keep that up. But um, if the links are not working anymore, just go ahead and find your own links on Google and you can still follow the tutorial without any problems. So I put mine into a folder for you guys, XX Menu 1.2. Um, but that when you download the files, it'll typically be under your download folder on your computer. Regardless, just locate the files. Um, with XX Menu 1.2, you're going to go ahead and extract it using either WinZip or WinRAR. I used uh, WinZip. You just simply click on it and click extract here and as you can see there's a folder up top called XCX menu that it created. Now with Horizon you just go ahead and run it. It's probably going to ask you to update because it wasn't the latest version I put in the description. Um, just go ahead and click update. It'll download it. Once it's done downloading simply run it and it'll install it like you would any software on a computer. Once it's done installing, you're going to go ahead and open it up, and when it's open, you plug in your USB flash drive, and it should auto-detect it, and it should pop up in the bottom right corner, as you can see mine did, my device, once I plugged it in. Um, if this is not the case for you, then um, all I could say is that you can you can actually make sure, make sure that you formatted it correctly, because it should automatically pop up, but if not, then you can select the flash drive, and hopefully that'll take care of it for you. Then just go ahead and locate the XCX menu uh, folder that you extracted. Go ahead and click on it twice to open it up and get the last file which is right there. Drag it into the demos tab and when you've done that you're going to see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen there is a green status bar going across that's just showing you the process as it's transferring the file over to the flash drive. Um, when the green's gone all the way across then you are done and XCX menu 1.2 is on the flash drive so I'm going to go ahead and let this transfer over. It'll actually tell you also, it'll pop up saying that it was successfully transferred to the flash drive, so you'll see that right now. Alright, there it is. Now go ahead and turn on your Xbox 360 uh, RGH or JTAG, and pop in your USB flash drive, head over to the Settings tab, System, Storage, and you'll see the memory unit right there. Go ahead and click that again. Down in Demos, and you can see XCX Menu 1.2 is there. You simply click on it, click Copy, copy it over to your hard drive. Mine said that it was already on there, so I just overwrote it. Um, yours won't say that if you're putting this on there for the first time. Once the status bar is done, you'll have XCX Menu 1.2 on your hard drive. For the sake of proof, I guess, I show you guys me taking out the USB flash drive from my Xbox 360 just to show you that it is indeed on the hard drive now. To access it, you simply head over to the Games tab and locate the game or demo called XCX Menu 1.2. Click on it to open it up. And there you are, XCX Menu 1.2. So I did this video for you guys because you guys have been asking me. Hopefully this will help a lot of you out. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, guys.